Today on Ballistic Barbecue, we're gonna be making barbecued pig wings with a homemade cherry brandy glaze. Let's get going. So this video is another installation of Xmark's Backyard Life campaign. If you're into anything outdoor living, whether it's outdoor cooking, hunting, fishing, DIY, hardscape, landscape, you owe it to yourself to check out the link I have below. Believe me, it'll make your life so much better when it comes to outdoor living. Let's cook these wings up. So these are pig wings. And instead of trying to sell you on the fact that there are like Sri Lankan flying pigs, like I was actually going to, these are simply from the shank. These are pork shanks, the lower leg of the, of the animal. And the large bone has been removed. The meat's been butterflied around the smaller bone and it makes for, as far as pork shanks, if you've ever cooked pork shanks before, it makes for a much better eating experience. They're, it's just like eating a, a chicken drumstick and it makes it more tender and just a very cool presentation. So these are all butterflied out. Now what we're gonna do is just some little minor cleaning up before we start cooking. So you can see right in th this area here, there's some tendons. So we're just gonna cut that section out. So anything, again, these, these tenants, we wanna get rid of those. Silver skin. All right, and this looks a lot better. We do the rest off camera and then we'll season them up, get them on the cooker. And here we are all trimmed up. So as far as this initial seasoning, I'm using an all purpose rub. Uh, it's got a little bit of sweet, but it's mainly, you know, garlic and herbal flavors because we're going to be finishing these pig wings off with that nice glaze, which is going to be sweet, but you'll see, it's also gonna have a little bit of heat going on. So I'm going to allow these pig wings to kind of sweat through this rub just a bit. I'll meet you guys at the cooker. So for this cook, I'm using a ceramic Kamado, but any type of cooker can do, whether it's a kettle, a pellet cooker, a big offset. All you need to do is just make sure that, you know, you're cooking on an indirect heat and you're running a low temperature. I'm going to be running this cooker between 250 and 275. We're burning lump charcoal and cherry wood. So now it's all about just monitoring this cook. I'm gonna make sure that my cooker's not dropping too low in regards to temperature or coming up too high. Keeping an eye on these pig wings looking for that bark development. If they look like they're starting to get a little bit dried out on the surface, I'll give them a little spritz. Let's make the glaze. I'm going to kick this glaze off with a little bit of pork lard here. To the melted pork lard, I'm going to be adding some very finely minced jalapeno peppers. Keep your face away from this gas as it's coming out of the, uh, out of the saucepan here. I just want to get them kind of cooked down just a little bit before I start adding the other ingredients. And we have some red wine vinegar, some ketchup, some yellow mustard, temperature lowered a little bit. Now I have some paprika, some clove, some allspice and some mustard seed. We're just gonna kind of bloom these spices in this hot fat just a little bit. I'm gonna take this off the heat and we're going to add some brandy very slowly. Get it back on the heat. This smells really, really good. 
Now we're going to add cherry preserves. A little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is just heat this up while I'm stirring. I'm going to let this come to a boil. Then we're going to reduce it. As it's reducing, I'm going to taste this. And if it needs any salt, I'll add some salt. That'll be to taste. And that's all there is to it. We've been at this cook now about one hour, 45 minutes. Pit's been running at about 160, happy with that. And the surface of those pig wings are where I want them to be now for the next step, which is going to be wrapping them. See, we got a nice color. It is set, it's not scraping off on my fingernails. Let's see what we are temperature wise. About, call it 140. These look good, they smell really, really good. Small sheet of foil here, obviously we don't need as much as you'd use for like a brisket or a pork shoulder. This is some melted pork lard. back on the cooker. So now we're just going to monitor tenderness. Once they become nice and probe tender, I'll be pulling them, unwrap them, glaze them, finish them, eat them. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. These pig wings have been wrapped and in the cooker now for about two hours and they're probing out just where I want to do it, nice and tender. It smells really good. Yeah, and these are, let me see here, about 201, 202, call it 202. Right, I'm gonna unwrap these, then we're going to give these a plunge in that glaze and then get them back on the cooker so we can set that glaze. Okay, I am back. To make it easy for you guys, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna put my saucepan full of that glaze right there, because I'm gonna give these guys a dip. That is pretty. Look at that. So what I'm looking for now is for this glaze to tighten up. I want it to still be a glaze. I don't want it to turn into like a candied shell or anything. I'm guessing probably 10, maybe 15 minutes and we'll be done. 10 minutes later, and this is what we are left with. Look at this beautiful pork. I'm going to pull this from the cooker now, let it rest probably another 10 minutes or so. We're gonna give you guys a try. And here we are, all rested up, looking absolutely amazing. It really has this kind of exotic, kind of Asian look to it. It smells so good. Let's give this a try. And I didn't even bring, <laughs> like a little kid with a lollipop. I didn't bring a knife or anything. I'm eating it the way you're supposed to eat it, like a chicken leg. <laughs> Beautiful smoke ring there. Very, very tender. Sounds like a stupid thing to say, but it has a really porky flavor to it. Kind of sort of like ribs. That glaze is exactly what I was looking for. It has a nice 
but not overwhelming amount of sweet, a nice but not overwhelming amount of heat, and just a lot of a lot of really great flavors kind of firing off on one of one another. The rub, you know, just again that all-purpose rub. It's a perfect base for this. Yeah, this is a hit. What's well, a hit with me? <laughs> it's good stuff. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you check out that link to X Marks Backyard Life. It's awesome. If you're not subscribed, please hit that red button. Make sure you ring the notification bell and thumb this video up and share it if you don't mind. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.